Levi Stadium in Inglewood, California. This is the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Justin Herbert and the LA Chargers taking on Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Southern California has a new modern home for NFL football, and it is this place, Wondrous SoFi Stadium here in Inglewood. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Chargers. The final weekend of the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. This is Tony Pollard. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here comes this Dallas offense led by Dak Prescott in his sixth season now as the Cowboy quarterback. You remember last year he got off to an incredible start, threw for over 450 yards in three straight weeks, including 502 against the Cleveland Browns in week four. Just four yards short of the franchise's single game record. Then came his injury in week five that pretty well derailed the Cowboy season. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. And just a yard to go here on second down. Prescott now, option right. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. That second down play nets a minus four. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kenneth Murray, and the return stops at the 39-yard line. The Charger offense ready for their first possession, and it's Justin Herbert at the helm in his second season now out of Oregon. About the only thing that didn't go right for Justin Herbert in his rookie season, the team's overall record. The offensive rookie of the year in the NFL was the fourth rookie with over 4,000 yards passing, just 38 yards short of the rookie record set by Andrew Luck in 2012. In addition, he set the single season record for passing touchdowns by a rookie with 31, breaking the mark of Cleveland's Baker Mayfield. This young man's potential, limitless. That's why so many people wanted to be the next head coach of the Los Angeles Chargers and help open up the stadium big in 2021. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Herbert. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion and would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync Stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, 
You see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. But Justin Herbert looking comfortable here in season number two. He looked comfortable in season number one, for that matter. But what's the game plan for defending and trying to limit him? Oh, you've asked a really difficult question there because you're right. Year one, he looked like a five, seven-year veteran. And he's only going to continue to get better. But with a guy who throws such a pretty ball and has such a great arm, Throwing the long ball has got to be a blast for him. He wants to push the ball downfield. Doesn't mean he can't make all the other throws, but I want to take those away first and make him beat me by being accurate and dinking and dunking all the way downfield. And he's going to take this down to about the 17. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler from 17 yards out. And the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Point after try, forthcoming. And the Chargers grab the 7 0 lead. So that drive spanned five plays. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Throwing. Prescott. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Joey Bosa credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. It's almost hard to believe that Joey Bosa is in his sixth season now with the Los Angeles Chargers. A pro bowler three out of the last four seasons. He led the team with seven and a half sacks in 2020. One of the great technicians is a pass rusher in the league. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Now Prescott. And that is incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. Well, the veteran in his first year with the Cowboys, Brian Anger, on to punt. K.J. Hill deep for the Chargers. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. 
The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you run in the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Back to throw here, Herbert. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Jalen Guyton, the intended receiver, and now it's second down. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. On second down, Eckler, and he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A charger first there as Herbert finds Williams. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. seconds of this first quarter and it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football on first down it's Herbert over the middle it's Jared Cook a good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard and it's second down as a defense you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you they're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. <laughs> to throw again on second down. Herbert, that'll be complete to Cook. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Now the ball comes loose. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. And he has great speed, defensive back speed. Once he got it and took off, there was no catching it. And I know every team tells you to hustle no matter what the play, but there was no chance of catching him. Maybe if it had been a defensive tackle running with the ball, but not in this case. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that challenge, a successful one. Fourth down and on is Ty Long to punt. C.D. Lamb deep for the Cowboys. Yeah. 
Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. That's a double win there, partner. You keep out of the return man's hands, and you pin him inside the five-yard line. Pretty darn good. The Dallas offense back out onto the field, and they will start this drive with just terrible field position backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one-receiver route, and take your shot downfield and see what happens. And occasionally, we've seen success occur. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative. But you know me, because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and they think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise, this defense is just going to gang up on the run and set them down. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. Draw play, Elliott. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. 55 rushing yards on the ground for him so far. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. On second down, it's Elliott. He'll get three up to midfield. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 37. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Sliding out of the pocket. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try to throw now. Prescott eluding the pressure right. All that 
gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. Third and short yardage, Prescott. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now a look at Smith. Not sure exactly what happened, but he's still down. More from L.A. in a moment. now for this offense and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. Half of the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. He's going to hold on to this one. A touchback, and the drive will begin at the 25. The Chargers are going to take over now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. On first and 10, Herbert incomplete. Jared Cook, the tight end, was the target. And that'll bring up second down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Justin Herbert looking to pass. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended target, and now it's third down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Ty Long now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Lamb to return it. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, Use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points on? And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Amari Cooper, the intended target. But it's going to be second down. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the rookie, Asante Samuel. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, Charles, you're know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. The Chargers going to take over here one more time before the half. And with a 7-3 lead, we'll see how aggressive they want to be. 
A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. After the turnover, here's Herbert. The left side, it's complete. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Herbert now. And that's into the hands of Eckler. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Working with a second and three. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Got his man, it's Williams. Now here's the timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. has the carry it does not it's no good and this score will stay right where it is now listen now no kick from 50 plus is a gimme but here you're indoors in a dome you'd think ideal conditions yeah and it's one that he would expect himself to make not just us expecting him to make it over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. So that P.I. call will give them one more play. And it'll be an untimed play as well. Now the half will end after this one, unless there's another, there's another defensive one. penalty. Zerline's kick is up and through. And that will do it for this first half. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We saw a strong first half from our quarterback. His guys lead, though, by only a point. It's been a tight one. As for the start of the third quarter, we'll send it back to Brandon God. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. Zerline out now to kick this one away. Adderley, he's going to hold on to this one. A touchback, and the drive will begin at the 25. The Chargers getting ready to go here to start this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Three yards the gain there, second down. Here's Herbert. Herbert has it knocked free. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he will take this down to the 10-yard line. 
So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half, and that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security, and none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. The defense gets him the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. Now Elliott. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Defense simply not fooled by the draw there. Well, they were thinking run to begin with, and what they tell their defensive linemen is play the run on your way to the quarterback. If someone shows, go get him, and that's exactly what they did. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. They'll try again with Allen. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down, but a nice little gain. 67 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. They got the ball in great field position after the fumble, but this defense tried to stand tall. They certainly are, and a lot of times after you pick up a fumble or get an interception, you have momentum on your side. You gotta walk through a defense and score. Not so fast, not in this case. Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Zeke Elliott able to find his way in for the yard out. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. The thing that they'll be looking at is the spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. Interesting, a chip shot field goal here would give them the lead, but instead, they're going on fourth down. On the ground with a tight end, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dalton Schultz, excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. Well, there was no secret there. They were in goal line formation. They wanted to pound it in on fourth and goal, and they did just that. And how about the challenge? That's a challenge to the offensive line, which they eagerly accept. I haven't met a lineman yet that doesn't want to run the ball more than throw it because they get to fire out and really smack someone. And boy, they got it done. I'm sure they were encouraging them on the side. Let's go and let's run the ball as well. And they put it in for six. Now Mike McCarthy going to decide to go for two here. They'll let Elliott try and run it in. And he's going to be hit and taken down in the backfield. Just nowhere to run that time. And the try for two is snuffed out. Well, partner, since this new two-point rule came into play, offense has been a lot more time working on it. That means the defenses are doing the exact same thing. The Chargers going to get the football first here in the second half, and they trail as we get back underway. Adderley, he's going to hold on to this one. A touchback, and the drive will begin at the 25. The Chargers getting set to go, and they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. 
That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Eight yards to go on second down. Now it's Herbert. Over the middle complete. That's Cook. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And Jared Cook's been doing this for a lot of years, the last two in New Orleans. The Chargers turned to him after losing Hunter Henry to New England in free agency, and they made a nice decision. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Allen, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. They'll run here with Eckler. The safety, Keanu Neal, there to make the tackle. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. got a yard here's second and nine now Herbert with it looking to pass and this is Cook with a grab that catch good for five it's third down let's not quibble about the game there on second down that was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation got out to the tight end now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three Here's Herbert. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And he is going to have the Chargers first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. the NFL on EA Sports. Hey, hey, hey. 
Herbert on first down now. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. They'll contain him to just four, second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. From the 36, Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. It's a gain of five. And that'll make it third and one. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. So first and 10 now from the 30. Back to throw. Herbert. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Mike Williams, the intended target. And it's second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. as they come up second and ten. Operating from the gun. Herbert. And this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read. And by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. On third down. Herbert, he finds his man, complete. That's Cook, and he's going to be brought down. He needed to get to the 20, but he's a yard or two short. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender, but a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. score down here we go they're gonna go for it here on fourth down meeting the tough yards they run it with their full band and he is gonna have the first down here but hold on because there's a flag on the field and i think someone got held well, sean slater first round pick in 2021 guilty there no good and this score will stay right where it is here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field right now clinging to a one score lead Charles and I think operating within that four minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here right it certainly does and that means the playbook is still wide open but you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal, 
end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 78 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And down to the 44, five yards that time. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. On second down now, it's Elliott. And now right out of the two-minute break, We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. The give is to Elliott. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. the pick up there and it's a first down but well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there and now in this situation should be in no hurry to run a play really fast let the clock wind down on this drive so far. It's first and ten. The Cowboys on their way to victory as they take a knee.
Prescott, he goes down to a knee, and that should just about do it. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And, you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter. But second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you're going to win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time, and the hitters get to see him. And then they come out after that, and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great convincing performance. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. So long, everybody.